Alright guys, so one thing I wanted to say to you guys before this video actually started that I'm working on right now, uh, but uh, one little thing I wanted to say to you guys is that uh, the particular day we chose to go out, uh, it was very windy, so you're going to have to bear with us on the audio, but in future videos, just expect a lot better quality audio, and uh, it's really hard when you got 30 mile an hour winds, and you guys can only go out one day a week, and Sometimes you just gotta try and make things work, and in this case, I just put together a video, just put some music over it, try and muffle it out, but uh, we did what we did, uh, took the circumstances we had and tried to make the best of it, and that's what you gotta do sometimes, so uh, enjoy the video anyways, guys. Thanks. Hi guys, my name is Adam Griffin. Out here catching crappies and gills. Um, Hi guys, my name is Adam Griffith, out here on a local metro lake, uh, Minnesota, out here catching crappies and gills. Uh, this is what we're using today, tungsten jigs, tipped with panfish plastics, um, a couple of the other guys are also using Euro larva, seems to be working very well. Um, just have to hole hop to keep following these fish, we're going anywhere from uh, 13 out to we've been out in about 30 earlier, but it seems like the more aggressive fish are up shallower um, So now we're keying on the, the break coming out of the deep holes um, And that's where we're finding our better fish Here we got one coming up. There I got him. More than likely another gill. Caught him right off the bottom. Got to reel these suckers up slow because we're in about 30 feet of water. I want to pop their airbag completely. There's a decent one. Nice little bluegill. What I'm using today, folks, is a clam dingle drop. I think it's a number 12, but a 164 ounce tungsten and using one pound test the water clarity here i mean it's just super crystal clear these fish are super finicky we actually had a um, little snowstorm here uh, about two days ago and i think it kind of threw the fish's feeding patterns off a little bit and they just seem a little more finicky today so i'm using a very small presentation a little wax worm kind of letting it dangle off a little bit i know i've been using plastics too every now and then but to me i don't know the wax worm out on this lake particularly it just seems to be a better presentation for them and so but let's get this fish back in the water. We got some more down there to catch. Long drawn out head shape.
fish are coming up and they're just that they're grabbing it. The crappies especially. The crappies are just they're screaming up to it. You're jigging and it's not like you know like you're fishing you know with a cork and a minnow where they come up and they just pop it. These fish are just coming up and it's just that you start lifting your rod and you can see the tip just bending over and there you got them you set the hook but it's just that you're getting them in the front lips they're not coming up and just inhaling it. They're not very aggressive today. Looks like we're gonna head out here, go watch the Super Bowl. Uh, the front moved in and really shut the fish off. Um, with these winds coming up, they're talking gusting to 60 miles an hour. I think uh, we should get out of here before that comes and blows us off anyway.